So if we check on the roof here, you'll see the mounting bracket for the light. It has a little uh, spring-loaded uh, button that you press down to insert the light and it stays locked in. Uh, I can't even tell that the bracket's up there when the light's not on. Um, and I painted it white. So you slide the light right into place. And uh, the light also has a magnetic base on the bottom, so you could attach it to pretty much any part of the van. As a plug, you plug that into a uh, cigarette lighter. Uh, or in my case, I have a uh, outlet right in the engine bay. And uh, I route it right around the hood. It stays nice and safe. It doesn't kink the wire in any way. There's plenty of space. And just reaches. It's uh, kind of crazy how how perfect the length of the wire turned out to be. Everything fits nice and neat under the hood. In the future, I might put some kind of uh, sticky cable management thing. That's me testing it there. The remote could uh. And it left, right, and then the light on the inside of the enclosure also tilts up and down, uh, but the enclosure itself doesn't turn. It's the light inside that, that turns up and down. The enclosure only turns left and right. And with the GoPro mount on top of it, uh, allows you to pan left and right. So you just slide the GoPro right into place, pop down the little uh, locking mechanism. It's real important that you use a lanyard so you don't uh, lose your GoPro in the wind or if the adhesive uh, fails. No, that's pretty much what it looks like, the whole system there. This is the GoPro 7, so it has a pretty good uh, uh, shake resistance. That's the uh, GoPro being displayed on my iPad inside the van. Hit and record. And that's the actual GoPro footage there.